Natural numbers are the basic counting numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. They are used for everyday counting and ordering. In most definitions, zero is not included, though some areas like computer science may consider zero as a natural number. These numbers do not include any negative numbers or fractions. Whole numbers include all natural numbers plus zero. This means the set starts at zero and continues with one, two, three, and so on. They are still only positive or zero and do not include any negative numbers, fractions, or decimals. They are useful in contexts where zero must be included in the count. Integers are the complete set of whole numbers along with their negative counterparts. This includes minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, and so on. Integers do not include any fractions or decimals. Rational numbers are any numbers that can be written as a fraction a divided by b, where both a and b are integers and b is not equal to zero. Rational numbers include terminating decimals like 0 0.75, 1 fourth, and repeating decimals like 0 0.3 repeating. All integers are also rational numbers since any integer can be written with a denominator 1. Irrational numbers cannot be expressed as a fraction of two integers. Their decimal forms neither terminate nor repeat. Some well-known examples of irrational numbers are the square root of 2, pi, and the number e. These numbers continue infinitely without a predictable pattern. Real numbers include all rational and irrational numbers. They represent all possible values on the number line. This set is infinite and uncountable. For example, 5, 1 third, square root of 2, pi, minus 7.68. Real numbers are used in measurements, calculations, and in physical sciences. Imaginary numbers are numbers that represent the square root of negative real numbers. They are not found on the standard number line and cannot be used to compare quantities in the usual sense. Instead, they extend the number system to allow for solutions to equations that have no real solution. For example, the square root of minus 1 is denoted as i, and this i is the fundamental imaginary unit. If we take an expression like x equals 3 times i, it means that x is 3 times the square root of minus 1. If we have another example like x squared equals minus 4, then solving for x gives us x equals 2 times i, or x equals minus 2 times i. Here, 2 times i and minus 2 times i are imaginary numbers. These types of numbers are used in advanced mathematics, engineering, and signal processing to describe quantities that cannot be captured by real numbers alone. Complex numbers are numbers in the form a plus b times i, where a and b are real numbers. Complex numbers become real numbers when b is zero, and it become imaginary numbers when a is zero. For example, 3 plus 4 times i and minus 2 minus square root of 2 times i are complex numbers. These can be visualized on the complex plane and are fundamental in many areas of science and engineering. Complex numbers can feel a bit overwhelming at first, and I know your brain deserves rest, too. Speaking of rest, I've been using the Manta Sleep Mask, and it's been a total game changer. It blocks out 100% of light and feels super comfortable like a hug for your face. Whether you're up late solving equations or just need quality sleep, it seriously helps you recharge. I didn't realize how much better I could sleep until I tried it. Use the link provided in the description, and don't forget to apply the code BS10 to get 10% off on your Manta sleep mask, because better sleep means a better you. I wake up clearer and more focused, perfect for tackling our next topic, which is special types of numbers. Prime numbers are natural numbers greater than one that have exactly two distinct divisors, one and the number itself. Examples include 2, 
3, 5, 7, 11, and so on. 2 is the only even prime number. They are crucial in areas such as number theory and cryptography. Composite numbers are natural numbers greater than 1 that are not prime. They have more than two factors. For example, 4 is 2 times 2, 6 is 2 times 3, and 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. Every composite number can be broken down into a product of prime numbers. Note that the number 1 is neither prime nor composite. Even numbers are integers divisible by 2, including negative, 0, and positive values such as minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2, 4, and so on. The sum of two even numbers is always even, and the product of any integer with an even number is also even. Odd numbers are integers that are not divisible by two. These include minus three, minus one, one, three, five, and so on. The sum of two odd numbers is even, while the product of two odd numbers is always odd. Odd numbers alternate with even numbers on the number line. Now we will talk about some advanced number systems. Algebraic numbers are any numbers that are solutions to a polynomial equation with rational coefficients. This includes all rational numbers and many irrational numbers like the square root of 2, which is a solution to the equation x squared minus 2 equals 0. Algebraic numbers can be real or complex and are countable. They are contrasted with transcendental numbers. Transcendental numbers are not algebraic. That means they are not solutions to any polynomial equation with rational coefficients. Famous examples include pi and the Euler number e. All transcendental numbers are irrational, but not all irrational numbers are transcendental. These numbers are relatively rare, but play important roles in mathematics. Surreal numbers are a way to include all numbers, even those that seem to go beyond ordinary numbers, like infinitely large or infinitely small ones. For example, imagine a number called omega, which is bigger than any regular number like one, two, or a million. A surreal number could be omega plus one, which is even bigger, or 1 divided by omega, which is super tiny, but not zero. These numbers help mathematicians deal with ideas like infinity in a very precise way, almost like creating a number for every possible gap in the number line. These are useful in abstract math and game theory. Hyperreal numbers, on the other hand, are used in a system that includes numbers that are infinitely large or infinitely small but are designed to work with calculus more easily. For example, a hyperreal number might be a regular number like 5 plus an infinitesimal, which is a number so small it's closer to zero than any regular number, but still not zero. Hyperreal numbers let us do things like calculate slopes of curves in calculus by treating these tiny or huge numbers as if they're part of the same system as regular numbers. P adic numbers are a different kind of number system based on modular arithmetic with respect to a prime number P. Instead of using the usual number line where numbers like 2 and 3 are close because they differ by 1, P adic numbers focus on how numbers can be divided by powers of P. For example, if P is 2, numbers like 4 and 12 are close in the 2 adic system because their difference 12 minus 4 equals 8 is divisible by a high power of 2. 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. Numbers like 5 and 6, which differ by 1, might be far apart because 1 isn't divisible by 2. Quaternions are a number system that are built on complex numbers, but they are extended to four dimensions. A quaternion is written as A plus B times I plus c times j plus d times k, where a, b, c, and d are regular numbers, and i, j, and k are special units with rules like i times i equals minus 1 and i times j equals k. For example, a quaternion could be 3 plus 2 times i plus 5 times j 
plus 1 times K. They're widely used in 3D computer graphics and robotics to handle rotation smoothly, like rotating a spaceship in a game without glitches. Don't forget to use BS10 coupon code and avail your Manta Sleep Mask today. So good!